Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the WL Toys 144001. This is a 114 scale, four wheel drive. Thing handles great. Let's get this thing on the road. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna get one, plus a promo code, save you 20%. Good until 11.30 of 2019. Oh, dude, what's up with the wheels? I'm plagued. Wheel came off, man. What is the deal? Twins. All right, let's see if you can find a little screen. All right, big trend here on OMGRC, wheels coming off. <laughs> if you've been watching some of my videos recently, you've noticed that, uh, yay, hey, man, what's up with the wheels coming off on your videos? You got me. Uh, before it was pinion gears, now it's actually wheels coming off. So. You know, we'll see what's next. Maybe you guys, maybe make a poll or something like that to see what's the next thing that might come off. Uh, but for right now, yeah, the vehicle handled really well on road. It did pretty decent off road, but uh, it definitely shines on road. Here's the thing is, as far as when it comes to being off road, is that there's no grease in the differentials, the front differential and the rear. So what happens because there's nothing in it, they spin freely, you know. Um, is that the power is just going to go to the tire that has the least amount of traction. So if this one's got a lot of grip going and this one just goes, so just, you know, it's going to spin, it's going to have all the power going to it and nothing really going to here, very little. So that's where you want to put the grease in. It's going to thicken it up and that's going to allow it to come a little bit more even. So even if this one's getting the traction, this one's, you know, just kind of up in the air or whatever, it's getting less traction. This one will still get some power to it because based on the amount of uh, thickness of the grease that you stick in there. I'm not gonna go real thick on it, but I'm not really 100% sure what grease I wanna put in there yet. Even if it's just some marine grease or something like that, that's gonna make a big difference compared to the nothing that it has in it now. All right, so this kind of give you a heads up on that part of it. Uh, as far as running this thing off-road in the grass, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's This car sits up okay, but it's still a small vehicle, so it's gonna have struggle to get over that thicker grass. So really it shines, honestly, on road. It did really well on road. A little bit of sand here and there was still great. But if you're running maybe like on a clay track, you know, or baseball field, whatever, don't get mad. But uh, you know, something like that, loose gravel, what have you, it's pretty cool. And also being on loose gravel, you know, as far as your gears go, let me flip this thing around for you so you can see, it's all covered up. So you're not gonna get any like big rocks in there. It's gonna mess up the gears or get stuck in the gears or anything like that. So that has that nice uh, gear cover that's on it. So not bad. Um, also 550 motor, that's nice. On that one, I was thinking about putting a bigger motor, not a bigger motor, but more powerful motor in there. But if I went with something more powerful that is not a brushed motor, then I have to get go with the 
brushless electronic speed controller. And with that being said, there's not a lot of room in here because the body is just like a buggy buggy body, buggy body. And so it leaves me with really no room to put something bigger in here. Because this is a two-in-one system, which means the electronic speed controller and the receiver are all in one, uh, that would mean another piece of a piece of equipment that would have to go in there as well. So uh, space is limited. And uh, we just gotta kind of keep that in mind. Unless they have, maybe you guys can leave a comment down below like, oh yeah, I've seen this same one and they have a truck version of it. Or you know, as far as like a short course truck, cool. Cause that's something maybe we can convert this thing into a short course truck or something like that. Then we would have more room to put stuff here and what have you. And then we can make that conversion happen for sure. Cause it'd just be like a little tiny electronic speed controller here. And we could probably in that same form factor, put a regular electronic speed controller in there that would be brushless and then put our other motor in there and uh, let it eat for sure. It'd be a fast car because it's super stable. You know, buggies are just great because they're aerodynamic like that anyhow. So this thing can definitely take more power with all this uh, aluminum or steel drive shafts that are in here and whatnot. Uh, I think it's a really nice vehicle, especially for the price. So speaking of price, um, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. Also, there's a promo code to save an extra 20% off. So check for that promo code in the link in the description below. That way they'll save you. That's good until 1130 of 2019. So in this case, someone's watching it later down the road, then uh, you'll know that that code's not gonna work. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. That's not where we carry this. This is gonna be a bang good affiliate link for this. But if you wanna check us out with all the other stuff that we do carry, omgrc.com is where you wanna go. And I sign up for our newsletter as well. But until next time, appreciate all you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll check in. We'll see you on the next one. You guys take care.